Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be unboxing and sharing my first impressions review of the brand new Summer of Glow collection from Chanel. This video has been highly anticipated, highly requested, and I think a lot of you guys will be pleasantly surprised. I'm excited to show you these products in action, so let's dive right in. Let me begin by showing you what I picked out from the collection. I placed two orders and finally everything has arrived. So here I have the Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Warm. I also have the Healthy Glow Illuminating Powder in the shade Sunset. There were two shades, Sand and Sunset. I chose the darker of the two. I also have the Rouge Coco Flash Lipstick in the shade 146 Dazzle. This looks very pretty for summer. And then I wasn't originally planning on picking this up. It was supposed to be identical to Soleil Tan de Chanel. As soon as I realized that the formula was not the same, I went ahead and placed the order. So here I have the Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. 390 Soleil Tan Bronze Universal. I've received so many questions about this and I am very curious to try this out today. I also pulled out my Le Beige Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid in the shade Pearly Glow. This was available on the Chanel website probably two weeks prior to the rest of the collection, but it is still considered to be part of Summer of Glow, so we'll play around with this today as well. So I'm going to begin by unboxing this warm Le Beige Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette. These retail for $65, and they have five eyeshadows as opposed to the eyeshadow quad. Comes with a little pamphlet of information. It of course comes with two mini applicators and the plastic protector, and this is what the colors look like. Here's what they look like swatched on my arm. You might already be familiar with these Le Beige eyeshadow palettes. They have light, medium, and deep. I remember when they first launched, these were so popular, sold out quickly, and then it was nearly impossible to get them back in stock. None of them were limited, and neither is the warm, so this is going to join the collection. In the past, I don't have it now, but I did own the Deep palette. It wasn't the best experience. I didn't feel like the eyeshadows were very pigmented. They blended out into dust. I just felt like it was a very dusty, chalky palette. I did drop mine early on, unfortunately, so it shattered into a million pieces and I tried to press the pigment back down together and it didn't work out. I got rid of that palette, it was very sad. Uh, overall, I just didn't think it was that impressive. Now, I love these shades, so I figured I better give it another go. And I've heard from a lot of you guys who say that you love your Le Beige eyeshadow palettes. I've talked a lot about the Chanel eyeshadow quality and how I think it has drastically improved. I love these colors, so I really hope that is the case for this palette and this is an improvement over my deep palette. So I'm going to begin by going in with a fluffy brush. I'm going to pick up this peach shade right here. Ooh. I am already so impressed. That would not have happened with my old deep palette. Wow. I'm just buffing this all over the crease, inside and outside. With this one eyeshadow alone, I can tell that this palette is so much better than my last Le Beige palette. Now I'm going to go in with this flat shader brush. I'm going to pick up this bottom peach shade. And this is going to go all over the lid. really pretty and smooth. Using the same brush, I'm going to pick up the really shimmery shade right here, and I'm going to pop that on the lid. I can tell how soft these eyeshadows are because the brush is picking up a lot. Again, you wanna be very careful. These eyeshadows can be delicate. That shimmer is gorgeous. I bet it would be really pretty with fingers. Let me try that. Oh wow, yeah, that's better. It's an intense shimmer, but it's not overly glittery. I don't have any fallout on my cheeks yet. 
but I think that's a good sign. I like a little shimmer. I even like an intense shimmer, but glitter makes everything complicated and messy. It becomes a high maintenance palette as soon as you put glitter in it. Now using a smaller fluffy brush, I picked up this deep brown. This is going to give us depth and dimension, so it's going in the outer V, outer crease. Really pretty, it blends so nicely. I am so impressed with this eyeshadow palette. I know I just ranked my eyeshadow palettes, but this would be up towards the top. With a different eyeshadow brush, I'm picking up this pale shade up here, and this is going to be my brow highlight. I don't wanna powder my entire face, but I am going to go in with a little Luminous Lay Beige Powder right underneath my eye to set that concealer. Now I can finish my eyes. So with a little pencil brush, I'm picking up this original coral shade and I'm going to buff that underneath the lower lash line. Tie this look together. This may become my go-to palette over the summer. I am so impressed, it's beautiful. Picking up the tiniest bit of this deep brown, I'm going just in the outer lash line. I'm not taking it in very far at all, just a little bit. I am obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. And I did not expect this whatsoever. It was kind of a, a gamble, a real roll of the dice because I didn't have much luck with the previous palette. And this is so much better. It might be one of my favorite palettes. It's reminding me a little bit of Pillow Talk, just sort of the overall shades and tone. So beautiful for spring, summer. I love the quality of the eyeshadows. They're very soft. They're incredibly delicate. I will treat this as one of my most prized possessions and I will not let it drop on the floor. So I am going to quickly finish up my eyes. I'm going to do liquid eyeliner on the top, mascara, and then I will come back and we will finally open that bronzer. I'm back and I'm looking pretty pale. So it's time to finally unbox this Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. Of course, the exterior packaging looks similar to Le Beige as opposed to the old black packaging of the Soleil Tan de Chanel. Here's the ingredients list. I'm going to pop up a photo of the old ingredients list, but since the writing is so small, this information is all available on chanel.com. Take it out. And it looks basically the same. Of course, the old Soli Tan de Chanel has the gold CC logo. The new Le Beige has a beige CC logo. Everything else is pretty similar. It's the same amount of product. Something interesting on the back, the little icon with the open jar that signifies how long you have to use the product up until it expires. Once you open the product, on the new Le Beige, it says 12 months, and on the old Soleil Tan de Chanel, it says 18 months. You have less time to use the new Le Beige bronzing cream, which makes sense considering a lot of people have pointed out it does contain coconut oil. More natural ingredients typically means a faster expiration date. And the new bronzing cream also contains colancho extract, which is the main botanical that's added to all of the Le Beige products. When you open it up, you have the same little protector. Everything looks the same. And when I swatched the two to compare colors, I thought it looked identical. And I know I've already heard comments from people that say that the color is different. And if you think the color is different, then you think the color is different. I look at these two side by side and I think they look exactly the same. It is very difficult for me to distinguish between them. And I tried in several different lights. I walked around, I walked out in natural light. 
I couldn't really tell a huge difference. There are a couple different ways you can use the bronzing cream. So in tomorrow's video, I'm going to go more in depth. I'm going to go in depth with a comparison between the new version and the old Soli Tan de Chanel. I'm also going to go more in depth with how you can use the product. Since I have two new bronzers today, I'm simply going to apply it the way I normally would and I'll share my first impressions. So I'm going in with my Bare Minerals Smoothing Face Brush. This is what I used the other day. I've used several brushes. Any kabuki should work. <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm a little bit scared. I've heard mixed reviews about the new formula. Not so scary after all, it looks the same. Let me grab a little bit more. I've just lowered the light so I can lean in and you can take a closer look. I think that looks pretty good. It looks smooth. It really looks the same as my Sole Tan de Chanel. And I was expecting it to be very different, but it's not. I'm going to save this cheek for my powder bronzer in the shade Sunset, but this side is looking really nice. The product itself feels a little bit harder. Like I said, it's a little bit thicker, kind of creamier. It's not thick, it just, the other one is a little bit more of like a gel cream. It sort of feels like there's a little bit more slip. Funny enough, because this is the one with the coconut oil, but you know, when it's room temperature, a lot of times coconut oil gets very hard. So it does kind of make sense. Before I was stippling, I'm now dragging, and I'm doing this on purpose. This is not how I would recommend you use it, but just to see what happens. Yeah, when I drag my brush, it doesn't blend as nicely into the foundation, but that's to be expected. It's still not bad. I honestly expected this to be an utter disaster. I thought I would hate the new formula. I know it's different. I've seen the ingredients list. And yet on the skin, it looks the same. It performs the same. I'm pleasantly surprised. My pores look fine. Everything looks fine. And I used Vita Lumiere Aqua. As I was applying it this morning, I thought, mm, I wonder if using a water-based foundation is going to be the kiss of death going in with this new cream bronzer that has oil. It looks fine to me. I mean, we'll see. I'm going to wear this all day. I'm going to dedicate an entire video to the differences between the two bronzers. Maybe I will see a difference later on. Maybe later it'll start breaking up my makeup. Right now, it looks exactly the same as the old formula. My only problem with the Le Beige Bronzing Cream is simply that it is a different formula, but Chanel said it was the same. I know things change, products change. It's annoying, it's incredibly frustrating, but it's also a part of life. I mean, it moves on and new products are brought out. Our favorites are discontinued. There's just constantly change happening. That doesn't bother me, but if the product is different, if you're going to reformulate, you can't tell people that it's the same formula. I mean, the ingredients list is clearly very different. We're not talking about a minute change. There's at least one major ingredient change. I've already heard from a lot of people who are not happy that it now contains coconut oil. Some people don't mind. Some people are just interested in the texture, the color. They wanna know if the product still looks nice on the skin. I really don't think it comes down to cheaper ingredients. I know that's a theory that has been thrown out there. I just have no evidence that suggests that Chanel is trying to create cheaper products and then keep the prices the same. 
I think it has more to do with the fact that they're trying to go a little bit more natural. We've seen that in their skincare and it's a huge trend in the beauty industry, but it's a huge trend right now in luxury beauty. Dior has completely eliminated cellophane wrapping. They got rid of all of the little paper pamphlets that used to come in all of their products. The majority of their skincare now has 80 or 90% naturally derived ingredients and Chanel has followed suit. We saw that with Le Lift, with the new Sublimage, and it makes sense. As consumers, we can't call on our favorite brands to be more natural, be more sustainable, but then criticize them when some of our favorite products have to change. The change doesn't bother me. Don't tell us it's the same when it's different. I'm left with a lot of questions, and I know a lot of you guys have questions as well. It does look really pretty though. I thought I was going to be a lot more upset in this video than I am, but so far the eyeshadow palette and the new bronzing cream have been outstanding. So let's go ahead and open this Sunset Healthy Glow Illuminating Powder. And we will apply that to the other side and see. I don't really have any doubts about this. I had no questions whenever I ordered this. I thought it was sort of a safe bet. I love this limited edition packaging, the nautical rope design embossed on top. It's very beautiful. Here you can see I have a little bit left of my medium luminous lay beige powder, barely. I've been using this as my bronzer for a while now. And I did say that this is pretty light and if I did replace it, I would go with maybe the medium deep or the deep. And I think this would be probably comparable to the medium deep or the deep. It's a little bit darker than this medium. In terms of the formula, I think it's basically the same as Luminous Lay Beige, which is great because I love the Luminous Lay Beige. I also have a, the light. It's pretty. Gives a little bit of a soft golden glow. The side with the cream bronzer is a little bit more flat matte. And this side has a little bit of a sheen. It's pretty. <gasps> Very pretty. It's not too luminous. It does have glow, but it's not over the top. This will be perfect for all of those tropical beach vacations we're all going to go on as soon as we're allowed to leave our house. A girl can dream. Let me blunt this out because now I feel like both sides of my face look too different. <gasps> Ooh, what's that? That could have been the brush, let's see. Crisis averted. I started to see some breaking up right here. I think it's because I was blending quickly with this brush, I went over it. And then it, I was able to blend it out and fix it though. So. so the last thing I have is the Rouge Coco Flash Lipstick 146 Dazzle. This was an impulse purchase. I have too many lipsticks as it is, but I saw the color and I thought, ugh, okay, fine. You got me. It's this beautiful shimmering orange coral shade. And I really love this lipstick formula. The Flash, that's what it's called now, right? I still want to call it the Rouge Coco Shine. The Rouge Coco Flash lipstick texture is so nice because it's very hydrating. <gasps> Woo! You don't need very much. I can't tell if it's too bright. Does it look neon on my lips? Drop me a comment, be nice, but drop me a comment, let me know what you think. I haven't worn lipstick like this in a while. I feel like I've I've barely worn any lipstick recently and if I have worn a lipstick, it's been nude. I haven't had anywhere to go. So seeing a bright, bold lipstick is a little bit disconcerting. It's been too long. The lipstick is growing on me. I definitely think it's a color that can be spotted more than six feet away. So this is a great quarantine lipstick. They'll see me coming, I'll be blinding them <laughs> from eight feet out, but it is very pretty. It definitely boosts my mood and makes me think of spring, summer. Going in now with a little liquid illuminator just on the tops of my cheeks. I 
I think the pearly glow is so natural, it looks really pretty. My makeup is now complete and I must say, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I was nervous. I was so nervous to sit down and film. I thought this video was going to be a disaster and I would regret everything that I picked up because the new bronzing cream, the eyeshadow palette I haven't had success with in the past. These products are all very beautiful. I'm impressed. This eyeshadow palette, the lipstick, the cream bronzer even, everything looks really great. It's only my first impression, but I have a feeling that I am going to be living in all of these products this summer. They're just so beautiful. And that completes my review. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked seeing everything in action. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, your questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything that I have today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.